The Witcher 3, the game that I keep coming back to. So, one of the people in my comments section suggested that I check out how the guards in The Witcher fight, because apparently the way they fight is a lot more uh, practical or authentic or historically accurate. And I did a little bit of research and I found this video. I want the player to feel like Witcher is special, like he's a mutant. Witcher fights not like an ordinary soldier, he's more like dancing, his movements are extraordinary, they're, they're different. So what I want to do here, I'll be focusing a lot on making the NPCs fight like they actually fought in the medieval times. And we actually have two guys in the studio that are specialized in that. Uh, NPCs fight like they actually fought in the medieval times. Which is basically suggesting that the combat that the guards use was overseen by people who had a little bit more expertise in the way medieval fighting was actually done. So I checked it out and I was actually pretty surprised by what I found. Put away your weapon. Your mom shuts doors. Okay, first of all, how do you know that? <laughs> That's supposed to be private. See those swings are all okay. He's holding his left hand out when he guards, which he doesn't need to, which isn't ideal. And he's holding his sword off to the side, which isn't very clever because he should be using it to protect him. But his swings aren't ridiculous. See there with the left hand. Oh, he's holding it out unnecessarily. This is probably his worst move in the game. He telegraphs this attack. I'll show you. This one. The one where he runs over to you. This one here. He pulls back his sword. And then he runs towards Geralt. And swings the blade. Plus, he is guilty of a little bit of overswing. But all of this stuff really can be forgiven because a lot of it's necessary for a video game to do because they need to telegraph moves so that it gives the player a chance to avoid them. What's impressive is if you get up close in the attack, he does this. He steps like this as he attacks, he steps forward as he attacks, which I do not see in virtually any games. It's incredibly rare and is incredibly important in HEMA, in historical European martial arts, in particularly longsword, to step forward when you attack with your sword, which is great that he actually does it. Step, 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 step. In all of those moves, he keeps his sword quite close to his body, doesn't overswing too much. That's probably his best attack. That is the most accurate representation available in The Witcher. Try to get round him. Step, steps, steps. See that? He's what he's doing there where he's guarding with his sword is is less ridiculous than when he has it off to the side as well. Plus I also like this. This is an accurate representation of what swinging a sword like this would be like. He blocks them all and then he just hacks you. That's where spinning gets you. I still think it would have been cool if Geralt could have used some of these more practical moves. But, from what a lot of people are telling me, it fits the lore of the books for him to do these dance style pirouettes. Just for me personally, it's a, it's a bit of a shame because I feel this could have been cool or I would have bought into Geralt being a badass swordsman a little bit more personally. But it doesn't mean that I don't love the game. It doesn't mean that I'm not looking forward to Blood and Wine massively. Oh my God, another chance for me to stick 
30 or more hours into this game. It's going to be amazing. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye.